Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, upper left hand corner. We have Rancor starting as the red Zerg, bottom left hand corner. We have Masuchi starting as the blue Zerg. Feeling much more, well, I'm actually feeling a little bit, uh, for people that caught the, this is, how do I put this? This is going to be a rough opener, I'm realizing, because I'm messing with things a bit. So first of all, let's talk about what game this is. This is going to be game three of set five. They are tied one apiece. It looks like this time Masuchi and Rancor are going to be crossing each other's overlords, so they're going to know the initial spawn location, which sometimes does get the advantage to Rancor with those nine pools, depending on build order. I feel like I've seen Rancor adjust a little bit when those overlords have crossed paths, and it's uh, worked out. But anyway, this is the first commentary after I posted the previous video on my personal experiences uh, with Mania. I'm feeling much better today. Um, yeah, I'm feeling... I'm not feeling, how do I put this? I'm feeling emotionally up, but physically, I actually feel tired, which is a very good sign. Very good sign, uh, which I won't get into all the way. Uh, anyway, so point being, that makes me happy. Yeah, I'll put it that way. Being tired makes me happy. How weird is that? Let's get to the game and stop talking about all of that, though. Overlord's going to cross past. It looks like we are seeing a nine pool once again from Rancor. It seems like that's just what he's pulled back to as far as his, uh, as far as his bread and butter. So spawning pool dropping down, going to sneak an extractor behind this. I'm expecting a lot of Zerglings, and I would be shocked if Masuchi, particularly upon seeing the Overlord crossing right here, doesn't open up with a 12th pool. So he does, in fact, open up with a 12th pool, which is, I mean, theoretically, that's build order advantage to Masuchi, and we've seen him time and time again roll that build order advantage uh, in his favor. He's going to grab an early gas as well. So he's basically just going to have more drones to work with a little bit earlier. There's obviously additional variations from here, uh, but let's see if Rancor goes for that in base. He's spawned the Overlord. He hasn't saved Larva. So never mind, he did save Larva. He's going for six Zerglings this time rather than the in base. So potentially a mind game here. Masuchi opting to go ahead and grab an expansion. He's not saving... Larva. Well, now he's saving Larva behind this, and so no, I just ignore that with the, the timing. I was off there in a couple of minutes, but he's going to grab that expansion. He is saving Larva, so this looks like a lose-lose-lose situation potentially for Rancor. It is possible with those Zerglings, although it's just going to be four. Let's see. Okay, now he's got that six. He's not getting Zergling speed just yet, and it looks like before Zergling speed, we're going straight to Lair. So expansion's been grabbed by Masuchi. The Zerglings are on the way. The Overlord is going to spot them. Some drones are already pulling off the line to provide additional defense. So I think Masuchi, and we've seen him defend this multiple times. Maybe Rancor can figure it out here. He's actually up a drone right this second. The drones spitting those, yeah, spit, spit, spit. Get those Zerglings back. Overlord's going to go ahead and hang over that natural expansion. I don't see additional Zerglings being produced in this attack, but that lair, yeah, big press forward on that lair. I'm Wondering if Masuchi is going to opt for a turnaround. Now, here's the thing. Masuchi has done a couple things in this situation. He's opted for Evolution Chamber and playing the long macro game from there uh, with the Larva advantage and working from there. Mas Rancor, though, because he skipped a lot of the additional Zerglings, he's not in that bad a position. He's actually up some drones. He's dropped a Sunken Colony, or sorry, a Creep Colony to be a Sunken Colony and a Spire. And Masuchi, playing more defensively here, has opted oh, yeah he's gonna go for the zergling flood zergling speed's just finishing so he's gonna just and we've seen rancor have th this almost feels like a is exact repeat of last game and we did not see rancor hold this let's see if he can do it this time he is producing more zerglings the problem with trying to do this is masuchi's done a fantastic job multiple times of pressing the exact number of zerglings forward so rancor could never get a mutalisk in the sky Spire just about halfway finished. Lair tech on the way for Masuchi. He's down three drones, but he's building a sizable ground army. This is only eight Zerglings on the front, and I think this is a full control group of Zerglings that are now making their way across. Plus, Zergling speeds behind this. I didn't check whether Rancor built Zergling speed. A second creep colony this time. He does have drones to spare, but the Zerglings are on the way, so Masuchi could hit a timing where Rancor has... Oh, wow, look at all these Zerglings. I think that might be even two full control groups. Rancor trying to hold this, waiting for that second creep colony to come online. The Zerglings have already breached the ramp, now trying to pull back. The four Zerglings there trying to defend, but yeah, this is an overwhelming amount of Zerglings. A single creep colony trying to defend. The Mutalisks are on the way, though. The drones pulling off the line, trying to defend. No drones have been taken out yet, but the sunken colony is just moments from going down, trying to drone drill their way across. One drone down, so it's going to be 10 apiece, but the Mutalisks 
a little bit away from spawning. Both sunk colonies are up and Rancor held. He held it. Managed to get enough of a drone drill across and now Masucci in a lot of trouble. Rancor just needs to hold the line here, get those Mutalisks down here and pick up. No, he's just going to go for it. This could be a huge mistake on his part. He's flooding out. Maybe a third sunken colony would cap this or additional Zerglings on the ground. He's building some additional Mutalisks in the air, but I feel like this might have been a mistake because he's allowing this main to take more damage. It looks like Masucci not able to target the close sunken colony, though, and going after the sunken colonies rather than the drone. So it's still holding 10 drones versus 10. The northern sunken colony gets taken out, but the Mutalisks are right on top of the drone line before the evolution chamber and the creep colonies are there. So Masucci loses it. So still held it. Great play from Rancor this game. He's going to go up 2-1 over Masucci. Not, and this is what is, I think, amazing about Fighting Spirit Mania as a as a set. Uh, by the way, hopefully my mic isn't... I'm going to figure out the mic shit eventually. <laughs> Excuse, uh, sorry for the language. I know some people preferred the lack of cursing. Here, but this is what I like about Fighting Spirit Mania. We saw adjustments from Rancor from the previous game to this game. And you, you see how in this long series format, adjustments can happen. Now, is this the first game where we see Rancor figure, figure it out and push forward and start rolling back? Or is Masucci going to be able to cap this out? But it looks like we have another good set in series. But this is the sort of action I expected from both of these guys. Adjustments back and forth. Intense matches all the way. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.